Hey guys, Akshay here. Today in this video, we're going to see about water. Let's get started. Water in different forms. Water exists in three forms, solid, liquid and gas. Ice is the solid form of water. It melts at zero degree and changes into liquid. Water, the liquid state, is boiled at 100 degree and changes to steam. The change from which ice changes to water is called melting. The change from which liquid changes to gas is called vaporization. The change from which gas changes to liquid is called condensation. The change from which liquid changes to ice is called freezing. This diagram shows the physical states of water. Forms of water on earth. There are three forms of water on earth as you guys know it. Some natural examples are given below. In the solid forms, we have glacier, icebergs, snow, hail and frost. The liquid form, we have rain and dew. The gaseous form, we have fog, steam and water vapor. Solid form of water on earth. Glacier, it is a large chunk of ice that moves like a river over the surface of land. Glaciers are found moving from high mountains and areas and are source of fresh water. Iceberg, it is a large piece of ice that has broken off a glacier and floats in seas and oceans. Snow. It is a form of precipitation in which crystal of ice fall on ground. Hail. These are hard hump of ice falling from the sky during precipitation. It is frost. It is formed when water vapor solidifies and get deposited on plants, trees, cars, house, etc. The water cycle. The continuous circulation of water from Earth's surface to the atmosphere by evaporation and back to the Earth with the help of condensation and precipitation of water is called water cycle. The diagram shown is a water cycle. Uses of water. Now let us see the most important part of this lesson, the uses of water. Body function. We humans and other living organisms need water to survive. Plants need water to prepare their food and also for the growth of plants. They absorb water from soil through roots. Humans and animals also need water for digestion and for absorbing of nutrients. Domestic use. We need water for drinking, cleaning, washing, bathing, cooking, etc. Agriculture use. Agriculture in India is mainly dependent on rain. If there is less rainfall, crops, of, crops for the season do not grow creating a huge loss for farmers. Crops like paddy, wheat, sugarcane, etc. need a large amount of water to grow. Industrial use. Water is used to produce electricity, which is known as hydroelectric power. Many industries require water for washing and as a cleaning agent. Use in transport. Huge ship transport goods containers and people all around the world through rivers, seas and oceans. As habitat. Different freshwater and water body are habitat for different kinds of plants, animals and other organisms. Sources of water Surface water After rainfall, water gets collected in low-lying areas to form ponds and lakes. The runoff water falls from high, high falls and higher areas to form rivers that flow into the valleys. These rivers are diverted into distribute water to agricultural lands by Long water canals. These canals form a network of water supply and are very helpful for agricultural activities. Underground water. During summer or in case of rain failure, people depend on groundwater. Rainwater gets collected in soil into gravel, the rocks at the bottom. The seepage of rainwater from the surface to the soil is called infiltration. The space between rocks and the soil, the water is stored, is called the water table. Below that, we have hard rocky layers which stores water called aquifer. That's it for this video guys. Make sure to subscribe, like and share our video. If you did not, if you did not visit our website, make sure to visit it. Thank you guys. Have a nice day.